friend of mine wrote me an email and he's bitching about healthcare and he's saying I'll tell you why the system doesn't work it's all these foreigners illegals coming over here and getting surgeries and getting prescription drugs and so on and so on and he went off like a page on the stuff of statistics and things and I got to thinking about it and I was like well yeah he's probably right um, my friend's from Canada by the way and there are a lot of Americans that go up there and try to get help when they're sick but I mean can you blame them really? I mean, they can't afford it over here we've got these oligopolies for our insurance companies if you do try and buy health insurance it doesn't always pay for everything it actually makes things more expensive sometimes um, relative to just not paying and hopefully not being sick for most of the time and then trying to pay whatever but um you know we are not even allowed to shop across state lines for insurance so the prices are unreal but with everybody jumping the border and going to Canada when something really goes wrong and there's nothing wrong with helping people and, and the Canadians will help the Americans or whoever who come in there if you're sick or you're hurt but you're not paying into the system all the other Canadians who actually live there have to pay taxes to pay for that whereas when illegals go over there and get help they're putting a drain on the system now in the US you can make the same argument and say well a lot of illegal aliens from Mexico come over have jobs and work but claim that they're not and get on Medicaid and go have babies in hospitals you know like anyway there is a reason illegal immigration is illegal it's not a stupid law now I think legal immigration needs to be made a lot easier but illegal immigration needs to be made much harder. The problem with Mexico in particular isn't an immigration problem. It's NAFTA. NAFTA has destroyed the Mexican economy. Not that it was ever thriving. It's a very religious and superstitious country and it's just, you know, not a beacon of technology and free thinking. But by far, it's NAFTA that's the target. NAFTA destroyed the agrarian populace and forced those people to move into the cities which oversaturated the job market, made people more expendable, got a lot of people since they were replaceable, they were being fired and wages were lowered because lower and lower because you could hire someone, there's always someone ready to take the spot. It's not a, a lack of willingness to work, that's actually the opposite. You know, the employer's like, hey, I don't have to pay this because there's too many people to work, that's the problem. But the hospital thing is a big deal, and I don't see why you can't just come the legal way, pay taxes like everyone else, and get citizenship like every other country does to the U.S. Everybody else's immigrants pretty much come the legal way, through the same process as all the people who founded this country. They came over from Europe, etc. They came some legal way, and they had hardship in a generation or two of assimilating are well on their way can't have special status you know it's not poo poo for Mexico it's not racist to be against illegal immigration you know places have borders for a reason where I used to live in Japan I can tell you this if they didn't have a filtering process and borders and aside from the natural boundary of language because it's the only place that speaks Japanese that those islands would be Chinese in two or three days if they were to open the borders, the Chinese would flood into Japan and make it in a little China in no time. And standards of living would drop. They'd start to lose their own language. Their culture would be becoming more and more Chinese. You know, people deserve to be governed by, one, their own language group. There are cultures, like them or not. If you want to have a world culture, I'm pretty much against everything becoming Americanized or everything becoming Chinese or whatever. I think different areas have different traditions and things, and they deserve to be able to hold on to them and they have to a certain extent have a right to say who comes and who goes that's just how it is